Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Carmel, and in today's video, I'm joined by Evan Birch, and today we're going on a food crawl. <laughs> so we're gonna be going to ten different places in New York City. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of just looked through like food Instagrams and just like saw what looked really good and just picked a bunch of different places. I want to do a bunch of like different food crawl videos, you know, like tacos in New York City and like burgers in New York City. Though that might be hard because those are really filling foods. But today we're just going to be doing one of like something like small stuff, you know what I mean? Like we're going to get one thing from each place from 10 different places and we're going to rate them and let you know. It's a really rainy, gloomy day out. Don't know if you can see. Really rainy, really gloomy. So it's the perfect day to just eat in the car. Be safe, people. Mask up. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Is that guy looking at us? Belt. So we can be safe. I tried to get the angle, I couldn't, it didn't even. There we go. Music. Uh, let's go. Onward. La Parisienne Paris Parisienne 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 We got the ham and cheese croissant But we added egg onto it Okay, oh Do you see? Oh my gosh, it's not focusing Do you see that gooiness? Oh. Okay, I'll eat on one side, you eat on the other Ready? Cheers! Some more. Yo, that's so good. Mm. The croissant is so good. Mm. You good there? I don't know. Oh my god. It's like everything the ham, the cheese. They even put a slice of cheese on top of the croissant. The croissant, oh my god, so fresh. How much was it? It was eight fifty, but then you add the egg. I think it was eleven, eleven dollars, and then with tax, it was like thirteen. I feel the egg was perfect. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too like droopy. I love the runny though. I think I got the runny side then. And that was too. Oh okay. I got to say. Probably 10 out of 10 for breakfast sandwiches. 10 out of 10. Mm. Fully worth the money too. I feel if I had like eaten this whole thing, like it would have filled me up. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, it was a decent size. Because even for half, that was pretty good. Mm-hmm. We have nine gone. more places, guys. I'm so excited. Next place, Dominique Ansel Bakery. Home of the Corona. So, naturally, we got a cronut. You guys, the bakery is so cute. I stood online in the rain for this cronut. Oh, careful. Wow, look how it opens up. And here is the beautiful cronut. Oh, oh yeah, let it focus. I hope she got a knife. I did not. We'll just knife. break it in half. I think it's stuff inside though. No, it's not. It's a croissant donut. Mm. Oh, there is stuff inside. Oh, so you get the first one? Mmm. I'm really not a jelly person. Oh, I can't. I really don't like jelly. Uh-uh. No. No, I can't. She's crazy. Uh-uh. Guys, she's bugging. This is delicious. 
No, it's good. Like the texture is nice mm. and stuff, but I just I can't. I'm not. I really don't like jelly. Honestly, though, if I like jelly, it would no. be oh Being my. That you don't like jelly. Two. She's crazy. Cause no, the cronut itself is good. Like the texture, it's good. Like it's flaky on the inside, like soft, and it's like nice and like you know, it's not. It's good. The jelly is just not a thing for me. Like, why would you put a jelly in a cronut? Because it's delicious. Yeah, but that should be a jelly cronut. They should have a plain cronut. No. Because some people don't like jelly. This needs jelly. If you don't like jelly, just don't get this. All right, guys. Prince Street Pizza is next. And this is probably one of the places I've been looking forward to the oh, most. Oh, it's Zagat rated. The pepperonis are like these little tiny, like, delicious things you'll see when we get okay. there peace out <laughs> okay we've arrived at the next stop Prince Street Pizza we just got the Prince Street Pizza it's called the Roni how we much was it five oh. bucks oh the cronut was 650 by the way I don't know if I said it was 650 and this is only five bucks oh my god I gotta show you on camera you know what's crazy? I'm not Instagramming any of this. Because they're going to have to watch to find out. True. Oh my god. Wow, guys. Oh, it's so good. Definitely Sicilian texture, though. I honestly thought the pepperoni was going to be a little bit more crispy. But still very good. Another guy. Uh. <gasps> no! My sweater! My car! It didn't get on your car, got my sweatpants. So we both have dirty pants now. I know, but this doesn't come out. Next spot was Little Taco House in Greenwich Village. So it's literally a hole in the wall, but they make everything like right there. Like mm -hmm. they cook the fish, like you put the fish in the fryer and I ordered it. It smells good. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Can you focus? You know what's cool about this one? The fish isn't fried. No, it is. Well, it's fried, but it's not like battered and fried. Yeah, it's not breaded. Perfect size. I rated a solid like eight and a half. Mm. It's really good. 8.7. I might have to give this a nine. Everything tastes really fresh. Mm -hmm. Even the vegetables. The pico was good, right? Mm hmm. That was like a little spice. And it makes it like... It had a little kick to it, but it wasn't like spicy. You know? And it feels light. Mm -hmm. Like Prince Street Pizza, that felt heavy. This feels so light. Like I got and three of these and be cool. Cool the bag is. That's such a pretty bag. Ooh, the box is even prettier. Ooh! This is our first experience with Sugarfish. Ooh. Wow, what's that? That's for the soy sauce. Oh, yo, that's so smart. Oh no, it's falling apart. So go like this. Well, I'm really failing here. I just don't want the rice to like. Well, Oops. there it goes. You're supposed to dip the, the fish part. No. Yo, she bit it in half. I cannot believe this girl. Yo, cause I want to put the rice in it. See that? Yo, that's so good. That's so good. See? <laughs> She's using her. No, that's so good. Can you guys believe this? Because I can't. <laughs> so, first of all, you gotta make some guacamole with it. 
is wasabi, by the way, not guacamole. Then, you gotta dip the fish side in the soy sauce, which is gonna be difficult, but. All right, guys. She was not lying, this is hard. The salmon's like butter. Yeah, I'm gonna rate this 10 out of 10. No, I'll give it an eight too. <gasps> He's got the goods. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Got the goods. Yes. Look at those, Aren't don't they look gorgeous? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's try it with the triple aioli. I saw this on Instagram and I was like, I have to get it. I love fries that are like this, like crispy. Mmm. You know what this reminds me of? Burger lobster. Burger lobster, right? <laughs> Look at this clump, guys. <laughs> it's very garlicky. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna say nine out of ten for the fries. Seven out of ten with the sauce. Wow. You know what it is? Because the sauce is very like very strong. Yeah. I like it's, it though. It's good, but it's very strong. It's like all I can taste. Is it packaged? I'll give it an eight. I give it an eight. Yeah, like together. I don't think we can finish this though. There's a good amount of fries in here. I know, right? But it was like eight dollars. Oh. You know what I like? It's not too salty. Yeah. There's fries that are like crazy, but like palm frites. They're so salty. Remember the one that got mm -hmm. in the Conant Smorgasbord? They're so salty. Got Kaylee's ice cream. Shout out Justin. I got the Lucky Charm. Oh, you ate it without me. Um, <laughs> you take a bite. <laughs> I got the Lucky Charms with Lucky Charms and Fruity Pebble on top. What did you get? I got chocolate cookie dough with cookies and cream on under it. It's good. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've had better. <laughs> I'm not picky with ice cream, so I like it. No, it's because this is the Lucky Charms ice cream, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like that. Mm -hmm. like it just tastes like vanilla ice cream. Mm. Yeah. You know it's good, Kith. I wouldn't have been able to tell that this was Lucky Charms ice cream, you know. I'm gonna rate it an eight. Oh, that's still really good. I'll give it an eight too. So, we only went to eight places, seven? Seven or eight. Seven or eight places. But we're gonna call it a day because I'm full and I'm kinda tired. Same, we're gonna watch the, the last episode of WandaVision. WandaVision. If you watched WandaVision, like you know it's fucking awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Lots more food mukbang style videos. I guess that's what it was, right? You're basically just eating. Yeah, you know, we had a bunch of different places. Yeah. So more videos like this to come because I love food <laughs> and I like trying new places. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.